Hi guys, another look at this shaker torch, flashlight, or whatever you want to call it. Did a bit of research on them. Big Clive did a teardown on one that he said was a fake. I don't think this one's actually a fake, but having seen how he did the teardown, I know, I think I know how to get into it. I've just very carefully gone round behind this lens and got it off, I thought we had to split it along this seam, but we don't. It's a separate tube inside. So I'm just trying to release that tube on big clives. It came out easily, whereas this one has definitely been glued in with the same glue that that was glued in place. But I was making some progress on it just now. Yes, yeah, see, I've got me knife blade in there so I'm hoping that if I can clear the glue that was around the top we're going around very carefully we might be able to get the central tube out so we'll come back in a minute when I've succeeded he says positively success so on Big Clive's, that wasn't a magnet. On mine, it is. So I think that part of it, we're okay. Although there's a fair bit of corrosion on there. That's the sort of surface shiny stuff. But yeah, I think that's a good magnet. So we're okay there. We don't want to break the wires there. What we want to do is undo the circuit board and see if we can replace those batteries. All right, I'll get a screwdriver, undo that. So you have to be very careful because those are very thin wires and it'd be easy to break them and we don't want to do that I suppose what I could do is I could just try and put a battery across the LED well, I could get a meter <laughs> I'll put a meter on the batteries start thinking complicated things when there's a simple answer just get a meter out and see if you've got anything at all on the battery. No is the answer. No big surprise there, but it would have been nice, wouldn't it? The other thing we could try and do is see if we can actually charge the battery. Now I'm looking at this, I, I thought there might have been a black blob circuit uh, chip in there, but I don't think there is. I think the copper plating has corroded. See where it's black in there? It could be that the battery's leaked and eaten the circuit, the um, track. See, it looks very black. Right, I've tried to avoid doing this, but I'm going to have to unscrew the circuit board and have a look on the other side. I think where we can see black in there, I think that the copper tracks have deteriorated. The reason I don't want to take this off is I can almost guarantee that I'll break those little wires. Not deliberately, I will just accidentally drop something and the wires will break. Let's just zoom in. These are the wires we're talking about, they're very thin.
All right, I think that's what our problem is. I think that this track on this side isn't there anymore. We can see nice copper track there and there and there and there and there. We just got blackness. So I think possibly the battery may have leaked and it's eaten the copper track. So what can we do about that? We could put little wire bridges over it to get round it. If I just put this down carefully. Can we actually read what's said on that battery? Nickel metal hydride, 3.6 volts, 400, 40 milliamp hour. I should think it's just three stuck together, 1.2 volts each. And I could put a, a bit of wire from, that's the back of the diodes there. I could put a bit of wire from there directly to the battery terminal. And also, I don't know if it does come straight down here. I'll have to study that a bit. That is what it is though, isn't it? Batteries leaked and etched the copper track out of existence. Right, I'm gonna put it back together for now because that's enough for me to stop and have a think. Just try and get that in focus so you can see. You can see that part of the track's absolutely fine looking like a light green color. And that bit is completely eaten away. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.